Hello everyone, Jackie Edwards here. Thank you so much for joining me today. It is boiling outside. Oh my goodness. So I have been, yeah, doing some work outside. My little bunnies got their first haircut because they are absolutely cooking outside. Um, yeah, it's been boiling. I tried to do, I just got a new barbecue and I tried to put it together. Yeah, way too hot for me to be outside. So I am cuddling in the bedroom with my air conditioning unit. So anyways, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are going to talk about some property stuff. So today I wanted to talk about something that's super controversial and it's all around rent to rent and reading the property owner's mortgage. So I get a lot of questions from students, from all of you that watch these videos about mortgages. Now with rent to rent, you are renting the property from the property owner in order to then rent it out to your tenants, whether they're service accommodation or HMO tenants. So one of the things that you need to consider is the property owner's mortgage. Now this will have an impact on what type of contract you use for your rent to rent deal. Now I'm not gonna go into loads of detail about contracts here. If you want more information, check out my website, renttorentacademy.co.uk, or there are, um, oh, a bug. There are um, other videos in my YouTube channel about rent to rent contracts. So you do need to have some kind of cognizant, does the owner have a mortgage or don't they? Now, if the owner has a mortgage, I would suggest not reading it. So that is my probably biggest tip is that you don't want to get involved in reading the property owner's mortgage. Now, some people might be like, whoa, you need to read it to make sure they're not breaking their mortgage terms. I think that that is the owner's problem. They need to read their mortgage to make sure they're not breaking their terms. If they have questions about their mortgage and how what you're doing with rent to rent works with their mortgage, they need to talk to a mortgage broker or their mortgage advisor. Um, mortgages are FCA regulated activities. You do need to you know, have a license. You need to be registered to give mortgage advice to people. Um, I'm going to assume most of you are not mortgage brokers. So you are not licensed, you're not registered to be able to um, advise people on their mortgages. This, this is very, very, yeah, important thing. You don't want to be giving advice on something that you're not licensed to do. That could have a bigger impact in the long run. So let's say the mortgage or the property owner is like, oh, I'm not sure what my mortgage company will think. And you're like, well, let me have a read through the mortgage contract. And so you read through it and you're not a mortgage broker. You're just, you know, normal like me. And I would really have no idea what that mortgage is saying. If there's like all these legal terms and all that stuff. So you're not going to know and understand everything in it. So you might read it and be like, mm, yeah, it looks good to me. Tell Mr. Owner, yeah, I think your mortgage is just fine. And everybody goes ahead, comes down the road and turns out there was a clause in the mortgage that said, no, absolutely not. You are not allowed to rent this property out at all. And then the mortgage company is like, oh, Mr. Owner, we see that you're renting your property out. We're not going to call in your mortgage early and you need to pay us back all the money or we're going to repossess your house. Owner is going to come back to you and be like, hey, you read my mortgage. You said everything was fine. This is all your fault. I'm going to sue you. So then you, he's going to sue you. You're in trouble because you gave mortgage advice when you shouldn't have. You're getting sued. Everything's going wrong. It's a big mess. Now that is worst case scenario, but on the flip side, Mr. Owner comes to you and says, hey, I'm not sure about my mortgage contract. Can you have a look at it? And you say, well, I'm not able to give advice on mortgages. I'm not qualified for that, but I've got a really good mortgage broker I'd like to recommend if you don't have one. Otherwise, you should you know, contact the company, your mortgage company about it. So I can't give you advice on your mortgage. So he goes back to his mortgage broker or his company or you know his mortgage company or he does whatever he needs to do he comes back and says yep i think everything's fine down the road everything's going to be fine because he had a proper professional read and review his mortgage not you so you're not going to get sued there are going to be no problems if it turns out that oh no we shouldn't have done that it does defeat my terms of my mortgage he can then go back to his mortgage broker and say hey you gave me bad advice i'm going to sue you or he can go back to the mortgage company and be like hey that's not what you told me when we had this call on you know the 4th of july 1932 or whenever you had that call um sorry random date um so you don't want to get involved 
basically underlying thing is you don't want to get involved in that owner's mortgage and giving them mortgage advice. Yes, you need to know if the owner has a mortgage or doesn't have a mortgage. That owner then needs to make sure that what you're doing and what your contract says is allowed by the mortgage. The same with insurance, the same with any leasehold agreements. If the, the property is you know, a flat or a leasehold, the owner is responsible for those things. So in my rent to rent contract with the property owner, I have a clause that says, you know, you, Mr. Owner, understand that you are responsible for your mortgage, for your insurance, for your leasehold. And when they sign that contract, that is them basically saying, yes, I take responsibility for those things. I'm getting the proper advice on my side for those. That way, it's just almost a little bit of a get out clause for you because you've said, you know, I've told you everything that we were doing in the property. You said you've checked with everything then you're good. But you don't want to give that advice unless you are a mortgage broker. So maybe you are a mortgage broker, then you could give them advice. But I'd say even then you probably want to keep that little bit of a distance and keep those businesses just slightly separate because you, there can be a little bit of a conflict of interest if you really want this property as a rent to rent and you want to get some mortgage advice business. So then you're charging them for kind of two different things. You might be a little bit swayed or if things go wrong down the road, they might say, well, there was a conflict of interest here. You shouldn't have given the advice on this when you were taking over as rent to rent. So even if you are a mortgage broker, recommend them to somebody else, tell them to talk to their mortgage company. You need to stay separate from that. Don't get involved. Don't even get, you know, if the, I've had um, my landlord say, oh, can I send you a copy? No, I don't want a copy of your mortgage. I don't want a copy of your insurance. I don't I don't want it to look like there to be any mistake that I've given you advice. Because if they've sent it to you and something goes wrong down the road, they can be like, well, I sent it to you. You should have read it and known there was a problem. And then you've got it in your email and you can't say, oh, well, I didn't read it. Even if you didn't give them advice on it or say anything about it. So if they send it to you, just say, you know, you can... It, it just say, no, don't send it to me. Or if they do send it to you, reply to them and say, hey, I'm not qualified to give any advice on this topic. You know, you need to talk to somebody just so that you've got it in writing that they sent it to you, but you told them, no, you're not going to do anything with this contract. So I think that's super, super important. Now, there are probably people out there that will tell you exactly the opposite thing. Um, so it's up to you to decide what you're comfortable with and what level of risks you're willing to take. But my biggest advice is, you are not regulated to do mortgage advice, insurance advice, anything like that. If you are not licensed, do not make it look in any way like you've given that kind of advice. Let there be no shadow of doubt that you've never received their mortgage contract. You've told them no from the very start and you've given them the name of a person that's qualified or told them to go talk to their direct company. So hopefully that makes sense. So yes, you do need to know if they have a mortgage because that will help you figure out which type of contract you should use, but you don't need to know the exact terms of the contract. That is the landlord's responsibility. It is their responsibility to make sure they're abiding by the terms of all of their contracts. As long as you've told them everything you're doing with the property, you've told them I'm going to run it um, for short-term guests. I'm going to run it as an HMO by individual rooms. I'm putting locks on these bedroom doors. I'm putting kitchen facilities in here as long as you've told them everything you're going to do with that property, then you are good. It is their responsibility then to make sure they are happy with all of that and that all of their contracts, because the mortgage is their contract, their insurance is their contract. They need to make sure that those everything fits together and that they are happy with all of their contracts together on their property. So hopefully you found that useful. Remember to check out if you're worried about rent to rent contracts, do a little search on my YouTube channel and find those um, videos on rent to rent contracts. I go through it all there or grab a copy of my books. You can see them here. Um, they are on Amazon. Um, otherwise, make sure you tune in next week. Give me a like if you like this video and make sure you share it. And I will see you again in the next video. Mm -hmm.